my previous video, we looked into various options in creating JavaScript objects. So in this video, we are going to look into constructor functions. So these are very specific to JavaScript. So constructions functions can also be called as instance objects. So we can call either of those two, but it is uh, quite so common to think any kind of constructor functions in JavaScript as classes. So let us see one by one. So what exactly is a constructor function? It describes the structure of an object. So whenever I say it describes the structure of an object, essentially you are creating the data type. The data type internally is going to have certain mem members basically. So each of those members could be either properties or methods or whatever. So in this case, you are actually trying to create a particular data type called EMP. EMP is just a user-defined data type, which internally can have four properties, employee number, name, salary, and department number. So whenever I would like to create an instance of this data type, we call that one as an object. So if you create a variable based on this particular data type EMP, you are going to call that one as an instance or an object of this data type. So basically, instead of simply calling this EMP as data type, you can call this whole thing as constructor function. So construction function is very similar to class in either C++ or C Sharp or Java. So whenever you think of a class, it is nothing, nothing but the most important feature of object-oriented programming. That is the most minimum. So whenever you define a class, you are essentially defining a template of its own members, where from that particular template, you are going to create more and more objects or wearables out of it. So in, in the case of JavaScript, you can literally have the same kind of syntax or the features of a class or object-oriented class using constructor functions. And the most important thing whenever you use in the constructor functions is each of those particular members have to be preceded with this operator or this keyword. So if it is a traditional JavaScript or just normal JavaScript function, you are just going to have a function with a name and the respective parameters and you are going to write whatever the instructions you would like to have here, declare variables, do some process and so on. However, in the case of constructor functions, you are going to have very similar syntax of a function except that those particular members which need to be acting as properties will be preceded with this keyword. And just like previously I explained about anonymous functions, you can also have those particular constructor functions to be defined in the form of anonymous functions. So even in this case, you are actually defining EMP, which is going to be a constructor function, and that particular constructor functions can have all of these particular member variables. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we can really instantiate or create objects from those particular constructor functions. So how do we do that? By using new keyword. So which means I can use new keyword along with that particular name of the constructor functions. So in this case, I have EMP and the same EMP I'm using here and I'm saying that please allocate some memory based on the structure I have here. So whenever I say new, it is going to create a new memory location to actually fit all of these members. And I'm saying that all of these values need to be actually be sent to these particular variables and those variables will be reused to assign to, as values to the respective members. So these are essentially nothing but the parameters to be passed whenever you are creating an instance or creating an object out of that particular constructor function. So once that allocation has been made, that entire memory location will be assigned to a new variable or an object variable called OEMP. You can use any of those particular variable names, whatever you'd like to have. And essentially now you can say like OEMP is an instance of this 
EMP for constructor functions which internally has all of these four members and those four members will have all of those values assigned to them respectively. So in theory behind the scenes that OEMP could be represented in this fashion so which means that OEMP is going to have all of the members associated inside the same object and all the values are going to be assigned to all of those members respectively. One of the important features is that whenever you modify the constructor function just like the class whenever you modify the definition of the constructor function it is going to automatically affect all of those relevant objects. Why? Because you are modifying the structure. If you modify the structure any kind of instance which has been created based on that particular structure will have the same kind of template or copy of those members. So essentially you are adding or modifying structure that means you are modifying the definition or the values or the members available inside that particular instance. So let us quickly take a demonstration on constructor functions, how we are going to declare and define constructor functions, how we can define objects based on the constructor functions and on top of it how do we access members available in those objects using various notations we have. So let us start and jump into the program right now. So let me add a new file here. So I just call this one as 03 for now. And I would like to have the script to be added. So as I mentioned any kind of fun constructor function is very similar to normal function. So all you would need is just the name of the function with the necessary parameters you would like to send while instantiating an object. So I just wanted to have some difference like v salary, v department number and so on. So it is very similar to a function declaration except that you are going to have the members of the function to be defined using this. So this dot employee number equal to v employee number. So similarly I can say this dot e name equal to v e name and this dot salary equal to v salary. This dot v department number equal to v department number. So in that way I can define a particular constructor function. So which means essentially you defined a class called EMP. And once I have a class called EMP I need to create an instance out of it and the easiest way to do that is create a variable with whatever the naming you wanted and then use the new operator and use that particular function name or class name or constructor function name and provide all the necessary parameters it is expecting. So in this case I would like to say employee number as 1001 and employee name as Jack and other things like salary and department number and so on. So in that way I can have all of the stuff as mentioned earlier and now I can access each of those members straight using the object dot member notation which means I am using the object name which is nothing but OEMP dot the member. So this is very important to know the moment you press dot here you can see all the members have been automatically provided for you. For example imagine you are not using this but instead you are using something like a where, where instead. So I can say some uh, member equal to some value let us consider. So I declare something as such. It is, it is not going to give you any errors but however if you press dot you can see that is not going to appear here as because that is not preceded with this. But the moment you turn that particular variable in the form of a member by preceding with this you can see it is automatically made available for that particular object. So this is important to know. Anyway, so I don't need this in here as because that is only to let you know that each of the members available inside the constructor function need to be preceded with this operation, sorry, operator or say this keyword. And now I can have employee number to be displayed and, not, and again 
I would like to have employee name to be displayed concatenated with comma I would like to have salary to be displayed concatenated with a comma department number to be displayed and once I have everything in place I just wanted to ensure that this is working so I just execute it and let us see if it is going to give us the alert with all of those particular values and there we go so it has actually given us all those particular values so we have actually created a constructor function where you are going to define each of those members by preceding each of those members with this and then you are going to define or create instances of those particular constructor functions so which means using the same structure you are going to create a real object out of it and once the object is created it is going to have all of those values to be populated to the respective members and you can access those members accordingly and now let us see if there are other ways to actually get the data or fetch the data from the object so as I mentioned behind the scenes any kind of object is very similar to associate array so I already we already discussed about associate arrays in my previous videos so as long as those are associate arrays we have the luxury of using for in loop so we are going to use the same thing here for each property in object EMP so I can use like that so this P could be anything it could be M or whatever so just for my understanding and better readability I start with P and now I can say please display the name of the property and the value of that particular property using associate array syntax so what I'm saying is that I would like to access each of those particular property members using associate array syntax so OEMP behind the scenes is considered uh, as associate array which means the indexes are going to be the names of those particular strings so each of those properties are automatically maintained in the form of array indexes so that is where I can get all the information so if you need more information about associate arrays I strongly suggest you to go through my previous videos so let me check if this is going to work for us and now you can see I have the first property second property third property and fourth property so not only this I, we also have other ways to accomplish the same for example I can start with something like function show EMP and I wanted to send an object as parameter and that particular object is going to be stored as part of O now I can say like with O so with is a different construct which can be used only with objects so the beauty of that particular with statement is I can use the same kind of statements whatever I am really working with those particular objects however instead of defining o.emp everywhere so imagine this is how usually I'm going to write any kind of statement so instead of using wo everywhere you already defined you all have already defined wo at the top so all you have to do is just work with the members straight away without using the object reference so javascript runtime is smart enough to figure out that these members are actually being deduced from that particular object as because it is inside the with construct so the with construct makes our particular life easier by actually specifying the object at the very top but we are going to access only the members out of it 
So this is another way of accessing the same object members. But anyway, as this is a normal function, I need to call this particular function somewhere. So in this case, I'm going to call here and I'm going to send whatever the object I have created here to the same function as parameter. So which means this particular statement is going to be executed the moment sorry this function is going to be executed the moment this statement gets executed so which means I am sending OEMP to O and using O it is going to execute the rest so let me test this one too and now you can see I got all the information as necessary so in that way we have seen three different ways of accessing the object members along with the creation of constructor functions and instantiating the objects out of it. Mm -hmm.